Jesus calls us to do good and to spread the good news. A blessed Thursday to you, dear friends. Today is the first day of the beautiful month of February. This is Sister Lauren of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Park. Jesus called the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. He said to them, Forever you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. If any place will not welcome you, and they refuse to hear you, as you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that all should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick, and cured them. The apostles are not dispatched as isolated individuals, because the kingdom they are sent to proclaim is all about solidarity and connectedness. Jesus sends them in pairs to keep them aware and so that they can mutually remind each other that they belong to a community of disciples and are called to multiply communities through the gospel proclamation. Faith in the gospel does not only produce holy individuals. It bonds people in the common conviction that God saves us in our connectedness. Thus, the paired missionaries by their interdependence and striving to agree and support one another, will give vivid testimony to the message they carry. The kingdom has to do with God's loving paternity, and those who belong to it are God's children, all of whom are keepers of their brothers and sisters. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, keep us aware that autonomy and competitiveness in the ministry are toxic tendencies that stifle our growth and solidarity and communion and doing God's work. Amen. 